Welcome to October's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is remove duplicate letters. Given a string, remove duplicate letters so that every letter appears once and only once. You must make sure your result is the smallest in lexicographical order among all possible results. Say we're given the string BC, ABC, our smallest lexicographical order with all the characters being unique or appearing just once would be ABC. So the order of the string matters. You can imagine if it was B, C, A, C, B, the answer would be A, C, B, not B, A, B, C, because the order here is what we have to take. Now they give you a hint to try using a greedy method. And that's going to be big because one of the first temptations we might have is to do some sort of recursion and find every possible permutation, but that's really inefficient. Instead, let's try building up our string using a stack. And what we'll do is keep track of the greatest index number for each unique character. So say that we had this example here. We're going to build up our string starting at the first character. And we'll say, OK, B, OK, whatever. Now C, when we check C, let's check to see the previous letter and ask ourselves, can that letter be added at a later time? And it, would that be better? So basically, just check to see if B is greater than C, which it isn't. But if it was, then check to see, can B be added later? Is this index number, um, you know, current index number, is it less than the max index number for that unique character? And if it is, then we should just pop it off of our stack and add it later. So that's what happens when we add A, right? We add A, and we see that C is greater than A. And we also see that C sh can be added later. So we should, we should just pop that off and add that later. Same with B. B is greater than A, and we could also add that later. So pop that off. And now we move on to the next one. We see, all right, B, well, A is uh, less than B, so that ends that. And then C, well, B is smaller than C, so this would be the smallest lexicographical order, right? So we have to have a couple things, a couple data structures to keep track of here. We need to keep track of the greatest index number for each character. So we'll have some sort of dictionary to keep track of that. Uh, and we'll build up our stack as well as have some sort of set to keep track of whether we've seen this character or not. So let's start with initializing a dictionary, we'll call it lookup. And this is gonna contain the max index number for each character. So for i in range of the length of string, we will just say for the character, make that value the index number. And this will get us the greatest index number, right? Next, let's initialize our stack. This will be a list, as well as a set. I'm gonna call this scene. And this will uh, just keep track of whether we've seen this character or really whether this character is still in the stack or not. Because if it is, then we could just continue. So now we'll have a loop, say for i in range, the length of s. First thing we wanna check to see is is this character in our stack? And we'll check that in our scene set uh, to make it a little bit faster. We'll say if the character, I should add the character i here, if character i is in scene, then we'll just continue. Otherwise, we'll have this while loop and we'll check first while there's a stack and the previous item on this stack is greater than the current character that we're about to add. And we can add this character later. So say if the i is, well, I should say more, um, from a lookup, the max index number, if it's greater than our current index number, then we know we should pop it off of our stack because we can add it later and it's gonna be in smaller lexicographical order. So we should just pop that off and we should remove it from our stack as well. Uh, to get back to the negative one, and I think I need to do the, pop it off my set first before popping it off the stack to do that. All right, so once that's finished, once we realize that we can't, we shouldn't pop off any of our previous letters, we'll add this current character to our stack and we'll also add this current character to our scene set. Once we're finished with that, we should have a list of all the characters in lexicographical order 
and we can just do a string join to return it as a string. So join our stack. And that would be it. So our example here, this should return ABC. Oh, does not. Hmm. Let's see, what did I do wrong here? So I'm sure it's something silly. It's greater. Move that from our scene. Okay. SI. Oh, okay. Um, well, it's not the SI, of course, it's the stack. The previous letter in our stack here. So that's what messed up there. So my apologies. This should fix it. And there we go, ABC, let's go ahead and submit that. And that gets accepted. So this is greedy method. Uh, in terms of time complexity, I'm not completely sure. I'm tempted to say it's O of N, but there is some possibility that this is worst case N squared. I'm not positive uh, because of this part here, but either way, it does get accepted. It's pretty efficient. And I think that's the most kind of clear cut, easy to understand way to do it. So thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.